And thanks for staying with us. Over 15,000 people, uh, peoples uh, in Ghana have benefited from Project Alpha, an initiative of uh, the Professor Elsie Kaufman Foundation in partnership with the Dexter Technology Limited. The project aims at uh, making the study of science practical and uh, also fun for pupils and their teachers. My colleague Imano Jivenu uh, was at the first year anniversary of the Project Alpha in Accra and filed this report. It's time for science class, and these pupils are beaming with excitement. Excitement about conducting basic experiments and unraveling the mysteries of the natural world. The pupils want to prove that oxygen supports combustion using simple materials such as candles, tubes, play-doh, plastic bottles, and jars containing colored water. As the candle goes out, the water rises to fill the bottle where the oxygen used to be. These pupils are beneficiaries of Project Alpha, an initiative by Professor Elsie Ifa Kaufman Foundation in partnership with Dex Technology. The project aims to make science practical and enjoyable for both teachers and pupils. It's been a year already and there's a lot of excitement. First of all, just even getting the set and opening up the set, you should see the faces of these young people and when they are able to successfully do an experiment, Experiment. Oh my goodness, the joy uh, around all of this. This is what makes it worth doing for me, to see those young people so excited to be uh, participating in science. Over 15,000 pupils from 176 schools have benefited from the program, resulting in improved learning outcomes. When the learners get the sets and they are doing their activities at home, some parents are participating. <laughs> so they may not be a direct target. By understanding better, they ask questions, so what are you doing? They have a better appreciation of what these science uh, concepts are. Head of Product Development at Dex Technology Limited, Charles Ofori Antipim, says that his organization will introduce more products to expand the reach of the program. We currently have about 170 schools um, that are actively implementing the practical science as we want it. And the idea is to expand it to way more schools, both private and government. We've started at the primary four, five, and six level, um, but we are actively working on developing the science set for the lower primary and for the junior high school and even senior high school. Acting head of the Youngsters International School believes the introduction of the science kit has significantly improved pupils' knowledge and skills related to STEM subjects. The learners have also improved in the learning of science because it has given them a lot of hope. With, with not like learning from the abstract now it is something that they can feel they can touch and it's like at all times they are in a hurry to do an activity here or there also head of public affairs at the west africa examination council indicated that project alpha represents a paradigm shift in the teaching of science at the elementary school level. They actually represent the new uh, norm, if you want, in uh, science education, making learning more practicable, making the candidates, uh, I mean the students, make use of their own environment, make use of technology, and learn about their own environment to enable them, you know, move away from the root learning and adapt a more practical way of learning and that enables them to uh, appreciate more what they are learning and that also enhances their ability to recall and be able to use that in their examination. The Professor Elsie Ifa Kaufman Foundation calls for more support to enhance the effectiveness and reach of the initiative. Project Alpha aims to demystify science and make the study of the subject practical and enjoyable. Imano Jivenu for Joy Prime.